this video we will learn how to play El Muelle de San Blas by Mana. If you would like to see more videos like this one, subscribe to this channel. Okay, so let's get started. Make sure that your ukulele is tuned and make sure that the nails on your chord hand are really short so that you can get ringing notes. The first chord is E minor. Then we're moving to A. Then D. And finally G. So E minor is just like a staircase. And then A kind of has like, you have these two fingers in the same shape, just in a different place. If you leave your middle finger here and tuck the ring and pinky behind it, you have D chord. Just make sure you pivot the hand inwards. If your hand is straight, these fingers might not fit. So make sure you pivot and then it should fit. And then jump to G. Still keep the hand very pivoted to make sure it fits and very curved. Alrighty, so let's try playing all four of those chords. One, two, E minor, go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Repeat it, ready, go. Ella despidió su amor. Le partió un amarco en el muelle de San Blas. Keep going. Él juró que volvería. Y el papá de Ñanto ya juró que esperaría. Miles de lunas pasaron. Y siempre ya estaba en el muelle esperando. Now let's move to the chorus, but if you want to skip ahead to the finger picking part, then like skip ahead to this time. Okay, so for the chorus, we have D and A for the most part. If you glue your middle finger here for D and for A, it should be pretty easy to switch between those two. Practice that without the chord hand. Practice D and practice A. Pause the video now, practice that, and then come back when you're ready. Okay, hopefully you're ready to do that with me. Get ready? One, two, three. Sola, sola en el olvido. Sola, sola con su espíritu. Sola, sola con su amor en mar. Sola, en el muelle de Sanda. Now let's work on the famous finger picking pattern. This kind of is the signature of the song, so you really do have to like practice this if you want it to be the song, like the essence of the song. So listen to it first. repeats itself right it's just index middle index ring index middle index index middle index ring index middle index try that with me index middle index ring index middle index and you just do that with the chords so try that with E minor one two slowly go Try again. Ready and go. Again. Ready and go. If you need to practice this or go back, go ahead. Now try the same pattern on A chord. Ready and go. Again. Ready 
and go. Now switch it to D chord. Ready and go. Again, ready and go. Now the trickiest part of it all is you're going to play G chord and on the last middle finger you're switching here. So let me do that for you. You don't have to do that, you can stay on G. But if you want it to sound like, kind of like exactly like the song, then switch that one there. So try that. Switch. Again, go back to G. Ready, go now. If you need to pause, go ahead and pause and practice that. So let's try the whole cycle. One, two, ready, and go. Try again. Go back to E minor. If E minor is all you can do, E minor is all you do right now. One, two, ready, and go. Para todos los que conocen la canción, saben que el ritmo no va exactamente así. Es un poquito más rápido en una parte. Voy a enseñar eso ahora. Once you've got the muscle memory to do that without thinking, add a little bit of flair to it to make it sound like the song. It'll go like this. If you notice, I kind of hung out on that note a little bit longer. Try it. Ready, go, now. Then switch to A. Ready, go, now. Then switch to D. Ready, and go. Now switch to G. Ready, and go. That one's a trickier one, right? Espero que les haya gustado este video. Si les gustó, unanse a la familia. Subscribe to this channel. And let me know in the comments below, what song do you want to see next? As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Adios!